Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Cherryboy and welcome back to the little game, Lunchtime Games Club everybody. We are back indeed we are and today's manga is fully fully omnibus. Yes, the manga is back everybody. And the apologies of my head looks kind of weird. I tried a new shampoo and it's just bleh. Anyway, let's get right back into the game everybody. Whew, let's find out the truth of what happened. Hey, one. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Alex's firm voice knocks me out of my days. Yes, now explain game what is going on here. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm here. I'm certain you are. Thank you for agreeing to meet me here. I've never been to your I never I've never been to your house before, and I didn't want to get lost since I'm on a bit of a time crunch. You are? I have to report for a work shift soon. Usually I don't work today, but no problem. It's not a far bus ride from here anyway. But why are we in the middle of a forest of all places? I see. Are you prepared to go and visit Tifa? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So I guess it's not a time skip, everybody. We're not in time skip territory. It's still the same game plot thing. I smile sheepishly. E. Yeah, I'm ready. I am as well. Then let's go! She looks worried for a moment, holding up a hand to stop me. Wait, one. I'm sorry that our visit will have to be brief, but it's really important that I'm on time for work. Uh, no worries. No worries. Thanks for taking the time out. Thank you for allowing me to accompany you. Okay, then. I can... Why did we just go from school? Oh, right. It was tomorrow. Right. Oh, I forgot. Oh, my God. I'm already forgetting the plot. <laughs> Alex and I walk side by side into my neighborhood. The bus ride was surprisingly more conversational than I would have expected out of her. A fact I can't help but mention. You know, you talk more than I thought you would. Is it so unpleasant that it's worth mentioning? No, just surprising. I've always found you a little hard to approach, you know, but you're really nice. Nice, huh? For some reason, her expression falters for a moment. Did I say something wrong? Hmm? The bright smile is back, so quickly that I almost have to squint to avoid it! No, not at all. I've been told that I can be hard to read, but I, but I don't want to come across as heartless. I just prefer my privacy. That makes sense, I guess. Not everyone is a fan of letting others know their business. Hmm. Exactly. Her voice is thoughtful as she looks around the neighborhood for a moment in mild interest, then brings her gaze back towards me. Besides, I think that everyone can appreciate someone who smiles and is there for them. What do you mean? Well, I'm sure you've heard my reputation. Alex, Alex, the refreshing beauty, kind of the cool river to Stacey's hot-headedness, yes? So, what can I say? I have to be- I have to be true to my brand. Brand? Alex, I'm not sure if this is what you're saying, but I hope you don't feel like you're obligated to be someone you're not. I'm not obligated. But if it's what everyone else prefers, if it's what image I prefer, then I don't see the harm. I feel like that's not right. I think I understand. I don't- I, I, I need- I need choices, I need choices, I need- yeah, both, we'll do both. I feel like that's not right. It's good then, then that you and I are complete- It's good then that you and I are completely different people. Uh, Same my expression, Alex purses her lips in dissatisfaction. I thought you wouldn't understand. No one ever seems to. Taking a glance at her wrist, she shakes her head slightly, the way her twin tails shift from side to side, almost mesmerizing. Well then, would you look at that? Actually, it's time for me to go to work. Well, you should have kept up the pace. It seems like you'll be making the trip alone. Wait, are you sure? Of course. Goodbye, one. Oh, God! I'll be seeing you in attendance at our next club meeting! My God, that's so bad! Yeah, I'll see you around, Alex. Mm. Of course. She'll leave me alone as I arrive at Tifa's house, letting out a sigh. Oh, God, that was so bad! We gotta do uh, bites and dust! No! That was terrible! Oh god, that was bad, bad choice! No good, no bueno, no bueno, no good! Alright, I think I understand, yes, that totally didn't just happen, let's go. I think I understand you, Alex, yes. Well, you would be the first. It's definitely foreign to me, but I can't exactly say I don't get where she's coming from. Even I viewed Alex a certain way before I got a closer look at her in the club, and I'm not sure I'll ever completely get her. Thanks for not being judgmental about it. And I hope you don't think of me as a busybody, but... Handing me a small paper bag, she smiles coolly. Perfectly white teeth, glitting, glittering, glinting, glinting behind glossy pink lips. I collected these cards from some of... from that. No. I collected these cards from some of Tifa's classmates. Please turn them over on our behalf. Hopefully that will cheer... No. Hopefully that will cheer her up to some... Ex no. Sorry, everybody. I collected these cards from some of Tifa's classmates. Please turn them over on our behalf. Hopefully that will cheer her up to some extent. Wait, you aren't coming? Sorry, I would have liked to, but I have. Uh, no. Sorry, I would have liked to, but our conversation made me think. Maybe what Tifa needs is to be with someone who is ready to understand her, like you are. 
At the very least, I'm sure she'd be more comfortable with you. And of my vast and and of my vast skill set, sad to say, making people feel at ease isn't in it. She stomps in the middle of the road. You can do it, Juan, and when you do, the rest of the club will surely be waiting for her. Ah, yeah, okay, that's way better. Okay, yeah, ignore the completely disastrous other end thing that happened. <laughs> Timing, okay. I knock on Tifa's door, not really expecting her to reply. Not expecting to hear her reply, sorry. Tifa's parents should be at work right now. Hmm. I normally don't need to use a spare key, but I knew where it was. Nah. But I knew where it was for emergencies. And this is an emergency if there ever was one! I let myself in, calling out Tifa's name. Tifa! Tifa! The house is completely dark. Making my way upstairs to her room, I can see a flickering light. I gently open the door and see I'm good! No, Tifa! What happened, Tifa? What happened to you? Hey, you repping PewDiePie! Now we're talking, baby! <laughs> hey, that's a nice, nice suit, nice, nice chair, nice headphones, bestie! Yeah, you're looking great! <laughs> Life sucks, drop out! No, Tifa, no! You're styling and profiling, and though. <laughs> I may as well have been speaking to myself, honestly. It's like a ghost is taking Tifa's place. I can't help but stare. My heart's sinking in my chest. She sits in front of her computer, completely zoned out. I call out her. I call out to her tentative, tenta tentatively, hoping for a reply. <laughs> Tiffany, Tiffany. I hope that the sound of my voice will wake her up, and it's just like that. What the heck? That she'll turn back into the soft, gentle, teasing friend I've always had. My bestie! Oh, hi! CG! The death is home! I suppose we can do it for this one, too. Yes. The death is home! Oh, no, Chief, what happened to you? This ain't it, Chief! I can almost imagine her... I can almost, Im I can almost imagine her turning and smiling at me. Come on, you won't believe this high score I got! Reality sets in! No! My stomach twists as I notice the bags under her eyes. I wonder when the, when's the last time she slept, or showered, or eaten anything at all! This can't be healthy! A gaming headset covers her ears. Should I? I should! I back into the hallway, my vision dark with nerves. No. What? What should I do? I sit in the hall- Okay, let's be serious now. What? What should I do? I sit in the hall for a few minutes, weighing my options. I thought it was bad, but I didn't think. <laughs> Tifa, is she? Tifa! Okay, wow! <laughs> ah! Okay, see you in the damn is <laughs> Okay, I have a good. The damn is Yeah, that's it. I don't know, my chair wouldn't go back for some reason. I didn't go back more? Oh, whatever. The way for Tifa, everybody! <laughs> Classic blue and white striped underwear. She cries out in surprise, covering herself with her hands. Come on, what are you doing here? I'll let you in! Fear slides across her face. My parents aren't home, are they? They don't know I've been skipping, and if they find out, they'll be... Oh, well, come down! I don't think your parents know you're here. I let myself in with the spare key, and I heard you yell, and... I just spilled Mountain Mew on myself. I was changing. <laughs> right, I'll just, uh... You don't have to go home, but let me finish changing my clothes, will you? Right, okay? <laughs> God. And so... You can come in now. Okay. You changed into pajamas? Well, I'm not plan well, I'm not planning on going anywhere for the rest of today. Looking around the room, I can see it's worse than usual. Cans of paintball and the occasional bottle of Mountain Mew litter the desk, accompanied by oily, empty boxes of pizza on both her bed and floor. <laughs> At least she's been eating them. How many hours have you been playing? How many hours have you been playing games? How many hours? Not that long. I was feeling sick, so I've been sleeping all day. I I started playing just now. I lift an eyebrow. Mm hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, yes, I'm sure. Her sharp, quick reply makes me fall. Yeah, makes me fall silent. You know, I told you to slow down. Juan, I am fine. You're seriously blowing this all out of proportion. I see. How's your new guild going then? New guild? I logged in last week to play. I see you left the guild we were in, so I was curious. Is it the one with Rabble Rouser? Is it the one with Rabble Rouser? She nods, shifting uncomfortably in her seat. It's fine. You have to log in to do raids every day by half four in the morning, so I've been trying to keep my guild score high since my sleep schedule's been... She trails off, winking playfully. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. Rabble's putting a lot of pressure on me, but I can handle it. Really? Can, can you? I mean, look around you. What do you mean? Sure, my room's a little messier than usual, but... No, Tifa. I mean, look at your life situation! I sigh, shifting some, shifting some rubbish over to sit on her bed. 
Tifa, I spoke to the girls and they think... Well, we think that maybe you've kind of become my, uh... A compulsive gamer. Tifa scoffs. <laughs> Those guys don't even play games. They just don't understand. I mean, sure, I play games a little more than usual, but is that really so bad? I mean, it's not like I'm hurting anyone. Yeah, right, because this doesn't count as hurting yourself. She scoffs, turning her eyes away as I continue, my voice slightly pleading. <sighs> Look, I know that normally there's nothing wrong with playing that. Look, I know that normally there's nothing wrong with playing games, but if it means putting anything or anyone ahead of what's truly important in our lives, then how can you think it's harmless? Tifa, we're about to graduate. You can't tell me that your grades aren't being affected by this. But don't you think your hobbies are- but don't you think hobbies are important too? Too much schoolwork, all that social pressure, it's necessary too, right? Hobbies are important, but this isn't a hobby anymore. This is taking over your life! But... but... Diva's eyes well up with tears. I don't want to give up my guild! My scores! In my guild, people listen to me! They ask me for support when they need it! They look up to me! How can I turn my back on them? Tifa, they were there before, and they'll be playing after. But do you really want to keep your scores if it means sacrificing the things that should be more important? Like what? Like school and your future. Like friends. Like your mental health. Like what? Oh, sorry. I'm back. Tifa doesn't respond, still avoiding my eyes. I clench my fist in frustration, like Arthur, yeah. And, and all at once, remember that I'm holding something important in my hands. I look at Tifa, my best friend, my partner in crime, my bestie, if you will. Like yourself, I can't sit back and do nothing while the person I care about most is crumbling like this. I offer Tifa the bag Alex gave me to deliver. I do not have a bag. <laughs> what is this? A gift from Alex. She's, she said she got it from some of your classmates, so I thought you might like to see it. Tifa accepts it slowly, pulling the bag out of my grasp. Then, unexpectedly, she bursts out in tears as she accepts the bag. I know, okay? I know this isn't right, but I just can't stop! <laughs> lately, lately when I'm not playing games, I'm thinking about playing games. I tried studying and doing my homework like usual. I tried to make myself normal again, but... She wipes at her tears, staring down at the floor. But if I'm not playing games, I don't know what to do. I haven't left the house in three days. Three, huh? And your mom and dad don't know? Sniffling, T Tifa shakes her head. <laughs> I've been pretending to leave and ducking into the closet until they leave for work. I'm sure they'd want you to help you. I'm sure they'd want to help you if they knew about it. You don't have to go through this alone, you know. Yeah, yeah. In the meantime, I stand up, holding out a hand. What? What? Let's take a walk. Just you and me. Tifa stares at my hand for a long moment. So long, in fact, that I don't think she'll take it. Until... Okay, just give me a moment to change. Her voice is faint, but she takes my hand gingerly, squeezing it lightly as she turns towards her closet. Toward her closet. Why do you want me to keep my eyes closed? Just because. Just because. Now listen to me carefully and follow my lead. Hmm. Good. Where we are isn't exactly a revolutionary location, but getting her out of the house seems like a good first step to take. Whoa. It's also not too far from her house, which is definitely one reason I chose here, but... As I look at Tifa's closed eyes, I can't help but feel the urge to tease her a little. STOP! She gasps quietly as she does, her eyes, <laughs> her eyebrows raising anxiously. Now, yikes, um, don't open your eyes, but you want to carefully scrape your left foot against the ground. Tifa opens her eyes abruptly to check her shoes. Not that there's anything on them. The blonde, you're so gross. I totally fell for that. CG, everybody, I like it. CG, the wife of Tifa. The damn is out. Just do good, everybody. All right. Great new outfit. All right. I break out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I break out laughing, and then into a run, Tifa chasing behind me. It's not a very long one, barely a minute or two past it before I finally run out of breath. <laughs> and when I look behind me, I'm not alone either. <laughs> I jog back over to Tifa, all the while trying to catch my breath. When we finally recover, Tifa's expression is noticeably, con is noticeably confused. Sui. <laughs> Sorry. The park? Why are we here? I thought it'd be nice. Lots of memories here, you know? I guess so. CG, let's go. Let me get a water. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Oh, Tommy. All right. 
Ready to uh, sorry. Ready to go? Ready to go? Her nose wrinkles for a moment before she let before she uh, uh, sorry. Her nose wrinkles for a moment before she lets out a quiet sigh. <sighs> Don't expect me to close my eyes again though. It's a done deal. <laughs> Reluctantly, Tifa takes my hand again, trailing slightly behind me as we go. Come on. Oh my god, I still see her bags though. Yeah? Why are we she trails off. Why are we what? Um, you know, you're holding my hand. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I mean, for me, yeah, but for you, you never do this kind of stuff. Oh, well, if I let go, who's going to keep track of you? Tifa's face distorts with frustration for a moment. But I'd be lying if I said that was all. I guess I kind of missed you. The club wasn't the same without you. I'm not really sure what to add to that, so I fall silent, enjoying the soothing ambient noise of the park as the dogs bark distantly. As the dogs bark distantly. Juan, did you... mean it? Mean what? In my room, you called me the person you care about most. Is that true? Yeah, most definitely, Tifa. You're my best friend, and... Oh, best friend. Right. Her expression leaves a twinge in my chest. Does Tifa want us to be... More than that? MORE?! A COUPLE?! I try to imagine it for a moment. <laughs> hey, Juan. I like you. <laughs> it's just my imagination, but I can't help the way my heart throbs in my chest erratically! But a bit of doogie doogie been so long since I did that! No way! Tifa would never say something like that! <laughs> would she, though? And more importantly, if she did, would her feelings be unwelcome? I swallow, staring at Tifa as she sighs, her pink hair tussled by the wind. This is really nice, but I have to admit, I don't really feel- but I have to admit, I don't really feel any different. All I can think about is the fact that there's a raid in three hours and I'm not going to be ready if I'm not logged in. It's okay, these things take time, you know? Yeah, I guess so. So is that it? Aren't we just going to come to the park every once in a while? Not quite. If I, if I recall correctly, one of us wanted to take up a hobby, right? Hobby? I bump her shoulder lightly. <laughs> I feel like you mentioned that you want to start exercising once upon a time. Remember? Uh, don't remind me. If I was out of shape before. Yeah, no kidding. Hey! She swings at me play playfully. A uh, hit I narrowly managed to dodge. <laughs> Ultra instinct, that stuff. No worries. No, no worries, though. I'm no bodybuilder myself, so how about this? We can exercise every day until you feel better. We? Right, me and you. Because what kind of friend would I be if I didn't? I like that a lot, Juan. We fall silent, looping around to where we first arrived. Looping around to where we first arrived. Any anything for you, Tifa. Tifa looks down at our hands, squeezing mine lightly. Thanks. Thanks. All right. The moment we make it back to her room, Tifa lets out a sigh. Is it the same room? Probably. I'm not honestly, I'm not even sure. Well, I want to go back and see. Is it her room? It is her room. Okay, she was just in the way. <laughs> All right. Let's go, everybody. Okay. The moment we make it back to her room, Tifa lets out a sigh. <sighs> I guess that's the end of that. You mean the beginning? Yeah, I guess I... You mean the beginning? Yeah. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I guess I do. Thanks again for being there for me. No prob... No problem. I'm going to help as much as I can. I turn to leave, but she calls up my name quietly. Mulan. Hmm? I... I can't promise that I'll be able to change. You know that, right? This could totally fail. She looks down at her hands. That scares me, Juan. It scares you, but you're still willing to try, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then don't worry, Tifa. That's all I need from you for now. That's all I need from you for now. I believe that you can do it if you put forth the effort, and I'll be here to hold your hand and get all sweating next to you. Exchanging smiles, I leave her house to go back to my own. Oh! That night my phone buzzes in the dark. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting this stuff to go down! The notification sound alone tells me that it's the group chat. I crack, I crack open an eye. Well, I guess I kinda sorta did, but like, I wasn't expecting this much going on. Tifa? To my surprise, Tifa's the one who's left a message in the chat this time. Not just any message either, an apology. I skim it quickly, but, almost e but what's almost even more touching are the replies. Apologies are for people who wrong others! You've just got some faulty wiring gang, and I, and I can understand it. Even I get my wires crossed from time to time. Buy me a drink from the cafeteria, and you're forgiven. I am pleased to hear from you. I hope your recovery is swift. I hope your recovery is swift. 
I typed a th I, 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 I think to type my own message, but I'm not sure if it'd be overkill or not since we spend half of the day together. I sent Tifa a private message. I'll see you in the morning at I'll see you in the morning at seven? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be <laughs> bye. Oh. But we don't have to leave for school until eight. Meet meet at seven for what? What? <laughs> meet at seven for what? Oh. Well, not to spoil the surprise, but I hope you've got some jogging clothes somewhere. Ugh! You know when we talked about Stacy being in the cheer club? Yeah, I remember. That happened? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. The day we ended up joining the games club. Yes, exactly right! What about it? The day I actually went out- That day I actually- uh, No. That day I actually went out and bought actual exercise stuff to wear! Trust me and be- Trust me and- Trust and be- Trust and believe- oh, Trust and believe! I'll be ready tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> Okay then. All right. I head over to Tifa's, feeling both dread and anticipation. Feeling both dread and anticipation in my chest. But I'm doing okay. All right, everybody. That's all the time we got for this. No matter. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh my God! Can't believe it's over already. This part, I mean, only tw uh, I think 21 minutes, right? No, over there. Yeah, 21, 22, something like that. I don't know how to do here, but very good. I need to save this. Very good. I enjoyed that exponentially. That was great! So much! And I can't believe it's over so fast! I can't believe 21 minutes just passed by like that! Oh my god! Anyway, uh, yeah, Lou Game, Lunchtime Game Club, everybody. I was not expecting that. I mean, I knew we were gonna go to Tifa, although I thought it was gonna be more chill and stuff, you know? I, Alex was gonna be there, we're gonna just gotta squash the beef or whatever that was going on, so I think it's gonna be cool. But no, this is a lot more deep than I expected, and that was cool and epic! <sighs> yes, very good. <laughs> yeah, now I'm thinking about it. Should I hit on the thickness thing? I mean, I was just doing it as a joke, but it was a serious moment. Oh, God. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. It was just a joke. Okay. Oof. Okay, yeah, serious moment. But I, I was able to keep it serious. I was able to keep it serious. When the time needed, I shifted into serious mode. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yes, everybody, it feels great to dance. I'm gonna be back at the back in the saddle recording gameplays, and I am loving this. All right, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh yeah, <laughs> good news, everybody, I'm back. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like below. And if there's any other games you like to play, you want to comment down below as well. And if you guys haven't already, fam, join the Discord. Link in the description down below. And as always, my name is Jerry Boy. I'm gonna be guys smile. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. I don't think I'm missing anything. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. See ya. What's gonna happen next time? We're gonna go jogging with the waifu Tifa. We're gonna exercise together with the waifu Tifa. We're gonna get our lives together. We're gonna get our life back together, baby. Woohoo! All right, so let's find out what kind of crazy, wacky, lovey dovey wubby CGs we're gonna get. Are we gonna... Oh. Hold on. Uh, I'm not totally sure. I think now we're... I think now we are like... Fully locked on to the Tifa route. I don't know how much longer the game is, but I have no idea what's going on, where we're at, where we're at with this whole thing. But we are going somewhere. I feel like, or maybe not. Maybe we're not exactly locked. I don't know where we are, but I don't know where we are. But we're gonna find out where we're going next time. We're gonna find out what happens. We're gonna work out. Is it gonna be some more drama? Am I gonna be some more seriousness, or we're gonna be more chill? Who knows? Find out what happens next time. Own the game, lunchtime games club, everybody. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Hi guys, see you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. See you. See you. Oh, bye. See you. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Bye. See you. Yeah.